everyone and welcome to the sims 4 current household january video i did not mean to go that low oops but we are here and my my the things have changed in my last current household if you have watched it if you haven't whatever um we were with josephina's the heir and we were still with her parents and she moved out with um her husband uh, what's the same? Judah, yeah. So, you know, Josephine and Judah, if you guys remember them. Oh, both her parents are dead. What the frick? What? Oh, okay. I was like, what is this? And I realized they, they had another kid. I'm dumb. Come on, people. I'm, jeez, I'm stupid. But in the last part, you guys saw Cammy and Penny with their three children. So like there's supposed to be another one here. Maybe I'm miscounting. Maybe not. Um, Josephine was in that household, and at the time she was married to Judah? Engaged? Question mark? I'm not sure. But, um, over the time they moved out, they lived together for a very long time. They had three beautiful, beautiful children. They made some pretty cute kids. They had Juniper Goth. They had twins. Juniper and Royce Goth. Royce is married. And their youngest is Nyla Goth. She just turned into a young adult, I think. So my heir was Juniper. So that is where we are at. And um, let me just say what has happened. So this girl, hmm, she, are you guys going to sleep or something? What's happening? Are you going to sleep? What? Are you going to an adult soon? <gasps> I'm not ready. 11 days. I mean, that's still 11 days, but like, no, no, no. Your life just started. It stresses me out a little bit. Um, please tell me you're going to sleep. Where is this boo? Boo, are you, where, what, what, what? Whatever. Um, so Juniper, basically her storyline begins. And if you guys actually want to read their complete storyline, it is on my Tumblr. I do a legacy of them. I do Tumblr posts and I do their whole storyline so you guys can um, follow it along if you'd wish. But if not, here's just a quick thing. So Juniper, she met a boy when she was like 16. They fell in love. It is, here's a picture. Not him, not him, not him. It's not him. Right up here. You may be thinking, well, she's in a new relationship. Why is he up here? It's, so most people don't do that, you know? But that was them when I think they were like 18. But when she was 16, she met this boy, and they fell in love, and they were together for 10 or more years, I think. So when they were 18, his name is Caden. He gave her a promise ring. He was committed to her, and they were committed to each other. They loved each other so freaking much. I thought that said it was his birthday, and I was like, stop. No, I'm not ready. But, um... Yeah, they gave each other promise rings, and then when they became adults, they moved out to... What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you need anything? No, stop. They Let them sleep. They're fine. Come quick. Um, um, when they were, like, 22, they moved out into the city, into an apartment, and um, he proposed to her, so they were engaged, they were happy... And um, then she found out she was pregnant, and they were very excited. And by the time she found out she was pregnant, she was about 24. And she was super excited. He was super excited. They were already engaged. It was a great time. They were very happy. And um, one night when Juniper went out, a fire started at home, and Caden unfortunately died in the fire, um, which is why her photo still up there, because she was committed to this man. She was going to marry him. This is Caden's son right here. This was the baby she was pregnant with. And my gosh, he looks just like his father. And it's such a cute thing to see. And, but really sad, too. Um, what? You had green eyes. I'm pretty sure he had green eyes. I don't know why they changed. I have to go fix that. But, um... Are you eating mac and cheese for breakfast? Oh my god. So... Obviously, Juniper was in the worst time ever. She was upset. 
she didn't know what to do with her life, but um, around that time she had met Lawrence, who's right here. She was her neighbor. Obviously her house burned down. She had to move back in with her parents, but Lawrence drove two hours every day. Not every day, but all the time to her house. He brought her food, he brought her movies, and he would just hang out with her and comfort her. And he would motivate her because, you know, she was, she had the baby to take care of. She had a whole other life to take care of, and it was a lot for her to handle. Um, eventually, obviously, she's still not the happiest little girl in the whole world, but she's very, I would say, happy. She, she is happy. But, um, over the two years of being friends with Florence, she decided to move, oh, after the two years of, you know, Hayden growing up, she moved out of her parents' house again. And moved back, and they moved into this little abode, um, I don't think that's the right term of words. I don't think that was. And, um, she could barely afford this. As you can see, they actually have a lot of money now, and we're saving up for more, so we can actually buy a really decent house or um, apartment. But she moved in here, um, and her and Lawrence actually began dating, and it scared her a bucket load because she was afraid to lose him. But he also made her really happy, so she became very close with Lawrence, and they became really good friends and stuff, and um, they quickly fell in love, and she asked him to move in, so now he lives with her. Oh, he's using the potty! Yay! Okay, I need to actually serve him food. He, uh, let's just, let's give him a applesauce. So, they fell in love very quickly, and now they're here. And, as you can see, she's pregnant. But, the thing is, he asks how she feels about them getting married. And she, they've been together for five years now, her and Lawrence. But, um. She doesn't feel ready for a marriage, not for, because she's not ready with him. She's not ready because of the fear of losing someone again. Um, but she already told him, I want to be with you forever. I want this forever. But she's not 100% on the marriage thing because of her past. And that's totally understandable. But however, she does want another kid. So they decided to have a kid. So they're on their second book. I actually want them to have a really big family. So we need to start um, spewing these kids out because... This always happens. It always says they're aging up, but they're not. They're all aging up soon, and I'm not okay with that. So, once we have this baby, you best believe we'll be having another. And somewhere in there, they might get married. I'm not really sure. I don't know if I see them ever getting married because of her past. Maybe that's just not what she is looking for. Um, so that is that. It's a lot, I know, to take in. She actually had a crazy, 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 crazy story line but um I definitely played that out on my t oh there there's the green eyes definitely put that out on my tumblr and I'm having a lot of fun with it so you guys should check it out it's in the description down below now um for family tree if you guys want to know where everyone else is Royce here is married to Bryson his teenage love as well I know very typical whatever Nyla here is still a single little mingle but that's all good Josephine's sister Emily's got three kiddos of her own, and their brother has two kiddos. And um, how pregnant is she? I think she's only like trimester one. Okay, it keeps saying there's a smell in here. <gasps> oh, I thought it was right there, but it was the plate. But I don't see a smell anywhere. At all. Like where? There's nowhere. But can we talk about the cutest moment? So cute. Alright, go take a shower. Actually, no, no, no. We're gonna go put hate in here. We'll put him in his high chair. And then we're gonna clean this because that's disgusting. But can we talk about her beautiness she is. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Oh, oh, let me go over the traits and stuff. So Juniper is a musical genius. She's halfway there. She's level five. Oh, five, dang, in her career. 
These are her skills. Her highs are violin and charisma. Put him in the high chair. Oh, he got it himself. Okay. And these are kind of like a relationships. Look at it. their soulmates. It's so cute. It made me so happy to see that. Um, her sister is so pretty too. So is Will Royce is quite handsome himself. Um, and actually, she's very close with Caden's whole family, so they can get they get to see Caden often. Uh, I wonder if her old yeah. It's, it says they don't know they're each other's traits, but I'm pretty sure they did. And Lawrence, on the other hand, I still haven't made his family. I need to make his family. But, um, why does it say just friends? Did he get friend zone at one point or something? I'm pretty sure he did. I don't know. We need to make his family. But he is a computer whiz and... He is a secret agent because I never do that career, so I thought I'd make a change. He is romantic, family oriented, a genius, and a quick learner. Her traits are perfectionist, outgoing, music lover, creatively gifted, a muser, and entrepreneur. And Hayden is a clingy but <gasps> I don't want you to age up. Oh, she's naked. I'm not ready, guys. I need to put on some clothes. So I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys go check out. What? What? If this is his ghost asking her on a date, I'm about to cry. No. No, 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 no. His death broke my heart. No. No. What is this? I'm sorry, no. I was just about to end this and then he called. No, he's never, no. Don't show his face. It better be another dude that leaves. Honestly, I don't know, but no thank you. We're, we're, we're good. I'm sorry you're dead. Look how pregnant she is. Oh my god, I need to give her a makeover, honey. This isn't suiting that I'm um, becoming a great mom. I mean, you can wear whatever the heck you want, but I don't know. Your, 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 your little uh, things are going to fall out soon. Or that shirt, so maybe not. Alright, well, I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys want to see more. I'll see you all later. Bye, guys.